All right, guys, this is our 360 plus or plus 360 smart camera. We're going to take a look at this today and see what it can do. First, let's do an unboxing. And this is what we have inside the box. Uh, we've got the 360 camera, our charging block, our cord, pack of screws and anchors for this mount so that you could mount this uh, camera on the ceiling if you'd like to upside down flip the screen rotate it all around the room or you can have it on a tabletop like it currently is we've got your very informative instruction manual here and another little tip sheet and there you have it so let me uh, get this to the computer hook it up and uh, see what it can do stay tuned First, let's take a quicker look at this. Uh, on the front, looks like we've got a mic, or that's a uh, actually LED indicator light. We've got a speaker, reset button, micro USB port. That's your SD card slot for memory, recording, and another speaker. And there is a mic right there, as well as another. Uh, LED light or something like that I think up there and this uh, top will rotate 360 degrees around and back and then it will elevate up and down as well let's get this thing hooked up okay guys uh, I got it plugged in it does actually speak to you it says welcome to the 360 smart camera which you just missed I opened up the instruction manual and to download the camera app we're going to want to scan this QR code here I've got my QR code scanner open I'm going to go ahead and get that and that's what we got there there's a link let's open the link and it takes you right to the Google Play Store right where the app is so we're going to go ahead and install this app sign in all right let me sign in here just a moment okay install accept those it's got a 3.2 rating for the app So we're gonna check, we're gonna try this out ourselves and see for ourselves what kind of rating we would give this camera and app. I'm hoping that it's a good buy. You just never know. Okay, we can press open here, and I'm gonna have to register because I don't have an account with them yet. So let me uh, let me get this on screen and we'll take a closer look at this. All right, guys, we're in. I've got this set up and registered, and uh, it's got an information screen that comes to first. I'm right here, and I'm actually on a screen that explains some of this camera on the uh, Amazon store. Uh, one of the main reasons I bought this camera was for the smart mobile tracking. I like that it will follow something around the room. If it spots the motion, if it triggers motion, it will follow that uh, person or a pet or whoever is walking across the room. So let's see here. Uh, we're going to add a camera. Do plus to add our camera. Connect to my camera. It's plugged in and the green light is flashing. Press and hold the set reset button until you hear a beep. Okay, let me get the camera. All right, I've got the camera in hand. I'm going to hold the reset button. I'm holding the reset button.
Oops. Just a moment. Okay, I'm going to hold the button down. Hold. All right, I heard the beep. So we'll press this button, heard announcement. All right, let me log in here just a moment. All right, I've got the phone next to our camera. Sending a sound wave, it says. All right, I didn't hear a sound wave or prompt. Let me try it again. I don't know, I don't see anything. Let's try this. Hold this in front of the camera. Okay. Okay, next. Says it's establishing the uh, connection. So that might be a good sign there. So I tried the sound wave, it didn't work. And next I did the uh, scan the QR code with the camera. And that seemed to work. All right, we can name our camera now. Let's do this. Uh, 360 cam and view my camera. Start using. All right, this should be it, I guess. I'm gonna hit the play button. Camera update. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead, I guess I'll update it now. Let's see how long that takes. I do like how the camera talks to you so you know what it's up to. It says it's downloading the new firmware. Firmware download complete. All right. Firmware upgrading. Do not disconnect power. Perfect. Okay. We'll just wait here for another few seconds. I'll fast forward this so you don't have to wait through it. Looks like it's booting back up. Yeah, I see some movement from it now. Hey guys, looks like it might be back up. All right, a few little instructions. You can pinch to zoom and stuff like that. We got it. Swipe up and down, left and right. Got that. Scroll up to show the PDZ control panel. Got it. All right, there's our control panel. Hey, we got it guys. Good job. All right, let's see what we can do here. Let's try to pan and tilt here. Panning, panning around my messy office. Pretty smooth, quick movement. Remember we're wireless. We're just plugged into power. Go up and down, back and forth. Oops. All right, there we are. Now, let's see what we got here. What does this button do here? I guess that was like a reset or something. Please wait for a moment. Okay. All right. Uh, what does this do? Record? We're doing a recording now. Let's do a stop. Recording has been saved. Let's do sound. Sound is off. Sound is on. There's a little menu button there. Replay. I don't have a card in. I got to get a card in. Otherwise, it will record to the cloud if you want to purchase uh, cloud storage, which I'm not going to do. And what 
else can we do here? Uh, patrol and tracking. Tracking I went on. That's one of the features I bought the camera for. And we're going to test the tracking out in a moment. Uh, regular patrol. The maximum time of regular patrol will be four hours. Panoramic patrol. I'll do that. Panoramic. 360. Surveillance site patrol. Okay. We got a couple options there. I'm going to turn that off for now because I really want to see how this tracking works. What does this phone button do? Oh, it's talking now. Oh, I can talk. I can talk through the camera. Okay, let's stop that. Whoa, jeez. Okay, so that phone is so that you can talk through the camera to whoever is in front of the camera. Like say if you're at work and somebody's walking in your house, you'll be able to talk to them by doing that. So let's see, I've got the tracking mode on. All right guys, I got the camera on out in the living room so we can test the tracking motion. Looks like it's tracking uh, is very sensitive. It's even picking up movement on the television there. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll it over here. Oh, there's Brandy. See how I picked up Brandy there. I think I'm gonna turn the TV off so we don't get interference from that. And then we'll come back and test it again. All right, guys, we're back. I got it relocated in the living room, the back living room now. And uh, see, I'm scrolling around here. It's a, it's a little bit dark in there. Let me open those shades. Echo, set dining room shades to 80%. See if those shades go up now. Okay. Maybe we can get some more light in there. There they go. All right. So we got the couch in front of us right there. And uh, I noticed uh, I went into settings. Where's our set settings right here? Here's where you can uh, change the name of your camera. Camera on off. Of course we want it on. I, w I don't know why you'd want it off. You can set your time zones here. Photo and audio settings. You can change how your camera's mounted. If it's mounted on the ceiling, like I said, you could do with that mount that came with it, or if it's upright on a tabletop like we have it now. Uh, your night vision, we've got that set to auto. Camera microphone is on. Uh, camera speaker volume is about halfway voice prompts camera online it will tell you when it's online right from the camera and it could tell you if it's offline and this is someone viewing camera on so I guess if I log into it during the day it's gonna speak out the camera if somebody's in the room they're gonna know that I'm viewing them I would assume that's what that means and status indicator light on or off all right what else? We've got home alert. Auto arm disarm. Okay. For smart notifications. When you leave home, smart notification will push the message for you if someone, if something changed. All right. I like that. I'm going to turn that on. And you can do do not disturb at night. So that's good because I ha usually have my phone charging right next to me uh, on my nightstand. I don't want it to alert me at night. Um, home alert, switch on the alert. You will receive video or photo notification if someone is there. Yep, I want that. Enabling. Alert on your phone video. 
Yeah, I want that. Uh, motion sensitivity is set to very smart. Okay. Let's go out of here. Uh, cloud. We're not going to do the cloud recording. I did pop in a SD card during the break there. Invite family members to view. Okay. Uh, format the memory card. Let's go ahead and format it. I've got a 32 gigabyte memory card in there right now. All right, format successful and system upgrade is up to date it says and you can change your Wi-Fi settings. All right, now we're back in here and I'm gonna go ahead and walk in front of this back and forth and see what it does. Watch me on camera, I'll be right back. How'd it go guys did it work good I'm gonna have to watch the playback on that one you guys got to see it but I didn't but I did see the camera head moving around quite a lot so and it was very sensitive to my movements uh, so I'm pretty happy with that because like I told you that's the most important feature of this camera that's why I purchased this camera so I'm very very happy with it now let's see how we can view the recordings See if we can find that. All right, guys, uh, looking for the uh, recording captured. I think it's right here in this replay button there. And I'm going to press OK. Make sure you're on card recordings, not cloud. And there, look, there's the playback of me testing the motion tracking. Man, that works really good. It works better than that easy vid cam that I reviewed back before a couple weeks ago. You might want to watch that one too. That was a pretty cool camera as well. But this one is ultra sensitive. Watch, I walk around the kitchen and come back in the other way and it picks me up. Even though you can't see me in the camera right there. It picks up that movement. Very good really like it now can we fast forward yeah I just pull this through I can go through the timing of the recordings okay no recording back that far oh I see it's just that little sliver of recording we got right now but if this were running for a day or so you'll have this thing filled up and you can come back and see it if anything were to happen when you're away and it's here's your recordings down here that will pile up down below all right guys i really uh am impressed with this camera what do you think stay tuned we'll get to comments you can rotate it like this and you get that full wide picture and you can do uh scrolling right on your screen to move the camera and if you want to zoom in you can pinch out nice big picture 
like that. If you tap the screen, you got your directional button that comes up over here that you can move with your thumb. Look, my dad's walking through there. It's picking up his motion. He's talking to the doggies right now. And he just went out back, okay. Look, it's picking up, up right through the window there. That's pretty cool. Move it back over here. So you get a nice big wide screen if, if you need it, or you can hold it in the portrait mode. So I just wanted to point that out to you. So what did you guys think about that camera? I like it. That's a go for me. That camera was under $60. Uh, I think it was around $56. That, it, you cannot beat that for that auto tracking feature that it has. And it's a 360 camera, touch screen controls, and it's got talking both ends. The camera talks back to you during setup. You can have the camera talk back uh, while operating it. If you want to log in from work, it will tell people in the room that someone is logged into that camera and they are being watched. Um, so you can turn that feature on or off, but it's cool. It's, it's got cool features like that. The setup, so easy, just scanning a QR code in the instruction manual and it takes you right to the app in the app store. Download that app, set it up. It was a breeze. Um, so I give that camera a thumbs up. How about you? Let me know in the comments below. If you like the camera and you want to purchase it, I've left the link in the description below. And I'll see you guys on the next video.